The Alienware X17R1 is, in traditional Alienware fashion, a real looker. It's part of the brand's X-Series range notebooks which the company likes to call gaming masterpieces. It's among the thinnest gaming machines ever produced, some 5% thinner than even the M17R4, and that was already a svelte gaming laptop. It's also enhanced with Alienware's exclusive thermal cooling material, Element 31, along with a number of other attractive specifications. On paper, the X17R1 is really appealing, but what's it like to actually use? We've been running gaming sessions, to find out the good and bad. Its X-Series design is new for 2021, resulting in a slimmer and sleeker look that balances form and function better than most other models that have similar power levels without foregoing ports. For gaming and other intensive tasks, its cooling system is efficient, keeping this 17.3-inch 4K beast both cool and surprisingly quiet. And even when you're doing other stuff, the Clicky Cherry Ultra Low Profile Mechanical Switches are fun to type on. It's a heavy laptop that you probably wouldn't want to lug around to many places, but functionally, the X17 is almost as good for work as it is for gaming. The second minor complaint we have here is there are just two USB-A ports on this machine, so you'll need a dock if you want to use multiple devices. There are USB-C ports, but USB-C connections aren't universal for peripherals just yet, so this could be frustrating depending on what kit you have. That said, you do have the convenience of Ethernet, HDMI and DisplayPort connections, so plenty of opportunity to connect to multiple devices. Though the laptop is thin, the screen is hardly bezel-less. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, as it means there's room for a sensible placement of the integrated webcam but it'll perhaps date quickly. The Alienware X17R1 packs a compact low-profile keyboard with Cherry MX switches. This means all the goodness you'd expect from a gaming keyboard with N-key rollover technology, anti-ghosting, and either 4-zone or per-key RGB illumination too. As you'll see, there's a lot of the usual keys you'd expect, and the layout is certainly good enough to work on. There's no numpad, but most other keys are there. You also have access to volume adjustment and function keys with secondary actions for keyboard lighting adjustment, screen brightness and more. The other highlight is the trackpad, which is a good size and pleasant enough to use, though naturally you'll want a proper gaming mouse for your gaming sessions. One quirk is this trackpad lights up when you're using the laptop. The blue hue it gives off is nice looking, but you may just find it distracting. Turning the keyboard lighting off doesn't turn this off by default either, which isn't ideal. The trackpad's lighting is one of several lighting accents that this laptop rocks. Other zones include the lighting bar around the rear cooling vents, the Alienware logo, and of course the keyboard. Our test unit is a higher-end configuration equipped with the Core i7-11800H CPU, GeForce RTX 3080 GPU, 120Hz 4K UHD display, Cherry MX mechanical keys, and 32 gigs of RAM for approximately $3,200. Lesser and higher options are available with the RTX 3060 or Core i9-11980HK, respectively. Perhaps the most important feature of the new chassis is its redesigned cooling solution that includes more fans than before and a new gallium silicone-based thermal paste over the CPU. We found the control ran at around 20 FPS on max settings, for example, but managed over 50 FPS with DLSS turned on. The Battlefield 2042 beta ran at 40 FPS, with everything set to maximum and dynamic resolution turned on. Rainbow Six Siege, max out, achieves around 60 to 70 FPS. It looks great in 4K, of course, but you'd get a higher and more consistent frame count with a full HD panel and lower resolution settings. You'd need that to make the most of the 120Hz refresh rate. That's part of the issue with 4K gaming. You're paying for the improved visuals, but with paltry frame rates. This is why the Full HD versions of the X17R1 might be preferable for competitive gamers. But if you put graphical quality first, then there's no denying the 4K model is glorious. The X17R1 is no slouch either, with multiple performance modes and several NVIDIA technologies to help your gaming experiences. Those include Dynamic Boost 2.0 technology, which automatically delivers power where it's needed to help improve your frame rates. On a basic level, you can just press a button on the keyboard to kick the laptop into performance mode and get the best experience out of it. It's nice to have that hassle-free option. One downside is performance modes mean more noise. Fortunately, we found that the speakers are more than capable of overpowering this fan noise, but when it's ramped up, it really gives off some obnoxious fan noise. While not gaming, the X17R1 delivers the goods. It's got enough power to handle most everyday tasks, even down to video editing. For working, browsing and other productivity the screen is great and has other bonuses too. The 4K option boasts 500 nits maximum brightness and has a color gamut equivalent to a 100% Adobe RGB spectrum. ease the pressure on your eyes. The options include a Comfort View Plus technology that's designed to reduce blue light without reducing image quality. Battery life doesn't seem to have been a high priority for Alienware, since the X17R1 is primarily aimed at fast desktop class 4K gaming performance while plugged in. But it's not the worst we've seen, averaging almost 4 hours of mixed use with the workload that I mentioned above. It'd be tough for me to find a justification for lugging this heavy laptop away from its charger, though.
It weighs about 7 pounds, and its 330 watt charger is almost the size and weight of a literal brick. All told, the Alienware X17R1 is a great gaming package. There's plenty on offer here, including great specification and visual design, and a slim yet powerful package that does little wrong. We only have a few minor complaints about the setup, some of which could be combated by just ensuring you make the right choices in terms of the spec options. That 512 gigs drive, for example, is far too small for most modern games. The Alienware X17R1 continues the company's trend of releasing cracking gaming laptops. It's out of this world. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate every comment from you. Subscribe to the channel. See you soon.